Hi everybody, it's uh, Kaiwaza. Welcome back to my channel and to yet another video. Um, this time a candle burning schedule, what I'm planning on burning for the month of January. And yes, in case you can hear it, just as I started filming, I should have timed this differently. It's Friday night here. We have fireworks every Friday night at Waikiki. So that is what you are hearing. Uh, but we're just gonna forge ahead because it's, I don't know. We're just gonna forge ahead. And yeah, I still have on January 5th, my manger scene out, but today is the 12th day of Christmas. Happy 12th day of Christmas. Tomorrow is Epiphany. And then I will put my manger away after Three Kings Day or after Epiphany. So there you go. Now for this uh, January, I really wanted to just completely depart from the holiday sense. I've sort of had a light Christmas, you will, this year in terms of decorating and whatever. I have burnt uh, scents. I just did my my empties video um, full of, I mean, more or less holiday stuff, but still kind of a little bit light. So this month of January, I just wanted a complete departure from that. Uh, so these may be odd scents for some of you, for somebody to be burning in January, but they're just kind of what I'm in the mood to burn and melt um, this month. So let's get started. I have already started on a couple of things. Uh, I have been melting this uh, Sensational's Wonderland, which is apples, berries, and peonies. I only have a couple of those left, um, which has been nice. Nice scent. And I have been melting also for a couple nights. This one, um, A Thousand Wishes. Um, and I already, a fly or something has flown into it. I don't know but these things happen. Uh, this one is Sparkling Champagne Crystal Peonies Almond Cream. Very nice. Definitely like a feminine floral cologne sort of scent. A little bit fresh. It's nice. The champagne, sparkling champagne, yeah. I like it. So let's look at what I've picked out. Again, like I said, these are not really holiday-esque scents. Uh, I don't, probably won't get through all these candles. We'll see. Um, a couple of sand and fog ones that I got on clearance at uh, Nordstrom quite a while ago. This one's kind of big. Uh, Huckleberry. Three wick, but I'll be melting it on a lamp, so it doesn't really matter. But uh, yeah, this is just very definitely like a huckleberry. I mean, what is huckleberry? I don't really know, but this is a berry scent. Kind of like a cross between a blueberry and a raspberry or something. It's only 509. It smells good. I'm kind of down for it right now. And I right next to it was this one that I'm gonna go ahead and melt too. It's also one that I got on clearance 549. Sand and fog. Also, it's called Sun Blossom. I don't remember. I mean, I'm sure if I went back and looked at my uh haul video, whenever this was. Uh, that I would get some kind of scent that I smelled on it when I smelt it on cold sniff. But actually the reason I pulled this out is because when I cold sniff this, pulling out candles, I can really smell anything. I really don't get anything from it now. And I'm like, okay, well, let's go ahead, except maybe a slightly powdery scent, but let's go ahead and just melt this. It doesn't have scent notes on it other than sun blossom. Um, let's just go ahead and melt this. I don't know if this is gonna smell like anything. I mean, we'll see. Okay, I also decided to uh, go for this white barn, Juniper and Gin. I mean, okay, I guess maybe this is not a complete 100% departure from sort of holiday-esque. I mean, this is Juniper is sort of pine-esque. I don't know. <laughs> Juniper berries, chilled gin, freshly squeezed lime. Yeah, you definitely get the freshly squeezed lime. You definitely get that juniper scent. The gin, I mean, it, it's definitely fizzy smelling and it, it does, it's not really holiday, I guess. I mean, you could, I suppose, but um, yeah, kind of nice, very refreshing. Uh, I'm doing Into the Stars. I just picked one of these up 
today at SAS and I didn't realize, I wasn't sure when I picked it up, as I said, uh, I did in fact have another one on the backup. So I'm gonna go ahead and melt the backup one this month into the stars, uh, which is Bergamot Champagne again, Night Blooming Water Lily, Pink Salted Amber. Very nice, definitely a feminine scent, perfumey, <sighs> sweet. It's sweet, I do like it. It does have a little warmth of amber in it. Yeah, something completely different. That's just what I'm in the mood for. Then here's one I just picked up today that uh, at the SAS sale at Bath & Body Works that I am going to melt because I'm just curious and I am in the mood for it. And that is Candy Cane Colada. I think a very odd scent <laughs> or very odd packaging or marketing. It's cute packaging, but obviously toward the Christmas season, holiday season, and it doesn't, to me, the scent, candy cane colada. I mean, just to call it candy cane, okay. But a colada, which is like pineapple, coconut, tropical drink, in no way suggests anything Christmas to me. And candy cane, really all they've done, as far as my scent can tell, is just add what's like a mint scent to this. So it's very tropical and to me it's still it's like a, a pina colada with some mint leaves in it it's good that doesn't invoke christmas or the holidays in any way shape or form to me at all zero so yeah i'm down with that and uh speaking of tropical drinks the last one i've chosen for this month of january is one i picked up a while ago i've been very very much been sort of jonesing to melt this one from La Chandelle Company. It is Blueberry Sangria, although it says on the bottom, Pretty Plum. And this is uh, Blueberry Sangria Lychee Blueberry Green Tea. They get very imaginative with these scent notes sometimes. Love the look of this candle. Um, this also, yeah, this was from Ross. Ross. Ten dollars smells fabulous. I do smell lychee in this. Lychee and blueberry, green tea. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I would say so. I mean, I definitely, definitely lychee, definitely blueberry, plum. Why would they call it pretty plum? Is that just like a mislabel on the bottom? It's not plum to me. This is, uh, smells so good, very refreshing. I'm looking forward to this one. Yeah, I just wanna clear out the funk. Clear out the funk and bring in something different for the new year and I have chosen some candles that I think will do that. Now for the melts, uh, I have a weird variety here for melts, I don't know. I have Sensationals Enchanted. This is Blackberry and Patchouli. It's a little on the heavier side, but it's still nice. We got a little berry, a little patchouli. The patchouli definitely makes it kind of more earthy. I did throw this in in case I feel in the sense, in the opinion or desire for something sort of bakery or more that kind of thing, a vanilla and cookie crunch from Better Homes and Gardens, if I get in the mood for something like that. That's what it is. This doesn't smell terribly strong though, now that I'm sniffing it, but vanilla and cookie crunch. I guess that's what they have pictures of there, cookies with a little icing. Sensationals, honeysuckle, pineapple, self-explanatory limited edition strong af it smells very strong it smells very lovely i get more pineapple than honeysuckle but i do get both nice and then a couple of these ivy botanicals i got aroma, uh, these are aromatherapy cleanse soothing white tea leaves fresh citrus with warm aspects of Earthy woods and tender vanilla musk. There's a lot going on there. Um, that's light. Maybe I should sniff the other side. 
I see everybody's doing that now, turning them upside down. Yeah, a little bit stronger, but um, I think definitely a vanilla musk. Light on the musk, little vanilla, little musk, white tea leaves. Yeah, fresh citrus, I don't really know about that. Okay, and energy, which is, uh, again, Ivy Botanics. This is uplifting blend of invigorating ingredients like sparkling grapefruit, zesty lemon, and white verbena to lift the spirits. Oh yeah, I definitely get the verbena. I definitely get that greeny. Well, it's also grapefruit. There's sort of an astringent scent here. Nice. Lemon. I don't know about lemon, but definitely that grapefruit astringent and verbena. Yeah. Almost. Well, let's say lemongrass. It's like, is lemongrass verbena? I've never looked that up. I don't, verbena, I don't know, really know what that is, but in Hawaii, I certainly know lemongrass from all the Asian food that has lemongrass in it. And it sort of has that, that kind of scent to it. A little bit like lemon, a lot like astringent leafy green. Very nice. In fact, I had some today at lunch. I had lemongrass beef. Yes, I did. Okay, those are the candles that I have selected to melt and burn during the month of October. Have you had any of these or any experience with them or thoughts about them? Let me know. And uh, thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video. Uh, give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more. I guess doing all that sort of helps the algorithms in the interwebs and whatever. Okay. Bye.